Hi guys, welcome to the episode of Forager Japan. Uh, today I wanted to share with you my first uh, morel mushroom find in Japan. And morels are really kind of rare. Where I've never seen them fr sold fresh in supermarkets and stuff. Uh, shiitake and enoki mushrooms and, and the king matsutake are like the biggest mushrooms in Japan. And morels, I've only seen them, uh, I guess, dried sold in the stores from, uh, and they usually come from France or Canada. But morels are, are really good. I don't see why um, they don't sell them in Japan and maybe they don't go well with Japanese cooking. I don't think so, but but they do have morels or mortel in Japan. Um, some friends in Nagano have said that they've found some. Uh, they're called the uh, Aminega Satake in Japanese, which more or less means like a net on top of a mushroom, which is, which is a good description. But I haven't been able to find any uh, morels or marcella. I've been looking for them like high and low, but I haven't been able to find them uh, until I found this website that had uh, maybe five interesting or good pointers to try to find morels because they are really hard to find. And if you're not looking uh, specifically for them, they're they're well camouflaged. So one point that it said this, they grow uh, under apple orchards or oak trees or elm trees. So I came up to this. Uh, park that had this big elm tree on the top of the park and then they had the extending roots uh, of the tree facing the east and west side so it was, it was, it was really damp so I thought this would be a really good place for the, the morels to nurture. I wasn't expecting it but I was following the, the roots down and then I found this one. It was like my first morel so I was, I was kind of shocked and uh, it was, it's a pretty good specimen, but he's kind of saturated. He was, he was been in the rain. There was a lot of rain the, the day before, but he identifies as a, as a morel uh, with a hollow stem and a really unusual pattern on top. And I was hoping for more, but uh, I waited about a week and it came back to the same place. And I was able to find more. And they always said, um, if you find one, just don't don't go home, stay around there and look for others because usually others pop around. And I was lucky these, I found these. So this was my first morels. and I brought them home. And I cooked them really simple because I wanted to, because they were fresh. So uh, first I washed them out with some salt water. And it does feel rubbery, but almost like a, like a tripe feeling. And the center is hollow. Uh, so I thought the best way was just to flour them butterfly and add a little soy sauce on top. <laughs> 